Hi, welcome to Bar Car Bookshelf, a video series about books and the drinks they inspire. My name is Elias, and today we're talking about Forging a Nightmare by Patricia A. Jackson. Forging a Nightmare is a taut, fast-paced thriller set in a New York populated by angels, demons, and every creature in between, and features Michael Childs, an FBI agent and equestrian who finds himself enlisted as a horseman of the apocalypse and saddles up with the titular Nightmare, a horse forged in the fires of hell from a tormented soul. And the, the interesting thing about Michael's Nightmare, unlike his compatriots in the, the Horsemen of the Apocalypse, is that she, more powerful than any other Nightmare since Lilith, uh, is able to retain both her equine and her human form. And so uh, she has a real dynamic approach with uh, her rider compared to uh, the other horses, uh, retaining both her, her personhood and agency while being a fierce war horse uh, to the core. It's really a fast-paced sort of thriller. Lots happening, going on all the time, and Jackson balances that very well, especially, I found, in the equestrian sections of the book, which were my favorite parts, uh, being a son of Kentucky. Myself, I always have a soft spot for horses and books, and the focus that Jackson is able to place not only on equestrianism as a discipline, but on the experience of black equestrianism uh, was a real highlight of this novel and one that I hadn't seen before. And so I wanted to do an interesting sort of drink for the book, something that plays with some of the flavors and themes in the book, uh, as well as highlighting those sort of horsey aspects that I love uh, so much. And so why don't we get started on today's drink? This is uh, on the vestibule road, named for uh, one of the prominent locations in the book, this road that passes through hell that's populated by uh, the tormented souls of those who exist sort of in between humanity and the divine. And it's going to be a nice sort of rich, stirred cocktail, something with the fires of hell uh, and the, the warmth of the living. So we're going to start with um, an ounce and a half of bourbon, a uh, nice choice for a, a horse book uh, being made here in the heart of horse country. And we'll get an ounce and a half of that. That's the Jefferson's bourbon um, made right near my old hometown, uh, as I said, in the heart of horse country, our favorite here on the channel. We've got an ounce and a half of that bourbon. And then, because it's dark in hell, they've got this sort of... Uh, purpley, dark light. We're going to get half an ounce of the Blackstrap rum from Cruisin. Uh, it's one that we've used as an accent before. Uh, it's uh, one of my favorites for late fall going into winter, bringing a nice sort of rich chocolatey uh, quality um, and uh, not quite molasses, but in that zone, really adding some depth of flavor. Then we're going to get for the fires of hell, and as you can see on the cover, those spectral flames that wreathe the nightmare. We're going to get a quarter ounce of our hot honey liqueur, uh, bringing a little bit of heat here. You'll taste it a little bit on the edge of your lip. Uh, you'll taste it a little bit as you uh, swallow and um, in the back of your throat. Really nice bit of um, heat in there. Then to balance things out, to add a bit of sweetness, we've got uh, some fig liqueur made with dried figs. You know, some people say that figs were the fruit uh, of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil in the Garden of Eden, um, and so it's one that I always like to pull out when we've got these sort of biblical fantasies. Uh, and it's got these nice dark fruit notes, rich, caramely, um, just bringing a real 
sort of depth of flavor as the rum is doing as well. And we'll get that in there three quarters of an ounce to bring us to our standard cocktail size of three ounces of liquid. Now, because as you may have noticed, all of our ingredients are alcoholic, um, this is going to be a little bit high octane, appropriate, I think, for uh, the thriller that Jackson has provided us with. And so into our glass that we'll be serving it in, we're going to want to put a large ice cube, something that you can sip on. This drink is going to be something you can sip on and enjoy over a long period of time. It'll get a little more diluted as you do uh, become a little softer with age. And then we'll get our ice into the mixing glass. Just a couple of cubes. As always, you want to add your serving cube to your glass before you add your ice cubes to the mixing glass because this ice is cooking this cocktail. It's already diluting and uh, you want that to be the last step that you take in making your cocktail. So give that a nice stir for a couple of seconds here. Um, soften the ingredients, let them blend. Wonderful, wonderful. And just a touch more. Perfect. I'll take our julep strainer, the vintage julep that has the hitch fitting right on the mixing glass and we will strain into our glass. Beautiful. I like this old fashioned glass for the book because it's got this sort of X pineapple pattern that reminds me a little bit of the flames as well. And so there you have it on the vestibule road, a stirred cocktail for Patricia Jackson's Forging a Nightmare. The book is available now. I've got a link to buy it down below as well as links for tools and ingredients. Uh, I've got a written version of the recipe down there below as well. Uh, try the drink. Let me know what you think. Remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, cheers.